Okay, so for this video, we're gonna mostly focus on vinyl wraps, but I may throw in a few decals that I see all too often. For example, if you're rocking claw marks, you're most likely a Mopar fanboy, in which case, how original. Alright, first up we have chrome wraps. I think they're cool, I guess, but generally speaking, there's two types of people that still get chrome wraps these days. One, you're either a dude that's way in over their head financing their car up to high hell, or you're, you're maybe even a leasee. Or two, you're a genuinely rich person who uh, just has unoriginal taste, I guess. Next up we have holographic and or psychedelic wraps. They tell me one thing. You most likely 420 blaze it 24 seven and want to trip other people out when they see your car changing colors throughout all hours of the day. And even the weather can impact your car's color. Honestly, this stuff is always enjoyable to look at. Not like that eyesore that is a gold chrome wrap. Next up, we have satin wraps. They're kind of interesting. You see, uh, you most likely like the matte finished look, but you want an ever so slightly bit of shine to it. Personally, I think you have really good taste and you usually are a more tamed person. Matte finishes, these are the tried and true classic. I mean, matte black on a luxury car? Oh my God. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. However, good luck maintaining it though, as it's one of the more difficult wraps to keep clean. Glossy one color wraps. I had one of these on my Camaro back in the day. You probably just wanted a simple color change. There's really nothing special here. Next up we have camo wraps. Do they even exist? I mean, I'm told there's a car here. Where is it? Clashing colors. Okay, so if you're rocking at least a two-toned finish, you want your car to stand out in probably the most uh, infuriating way possible. It's as if you wanted our eyes to adjust to the color atrocity that's right in front of us. Either way, I think you're a fun guy. Rust or dystopian wraps. These were really popular in the mid 2010s, although I'm starting to see them slowly fade away as the years go by. Specifically, I used to see a ton of nice cars, high end luxury cars I mean, with this wrap. It makes your car look older and unassuming. Maybe that's the look they're going for? I, I don't know. Anyways, moving on to the brushed metal finish. Alright, this person right here has excellent taste. In my opinion, brushed metal finishes look damn good on just about any car. Now, they're a little more pricey than, say, a traditional glossy finish, but they make your car look 100, again, 100% 100 classier. Carbon fiber wraps are stylish and can convince others from afar that you're rocking some premium pieces, mostly found on your mirrors, splitters, hoods, or spoilers. Carbon fiber is a cult classic that, when done right, is a tasteful addition to your ride. Cutouts usually tell me that you're either a small business owner or you wanted some fancy big sticker on your car. Nothing wrong with that, sometimes they're looking pretty slick. Custom full body wraps. These guys come in all sorts of flavors. On one end of the spectrum, you have a sports fanatic that wrapped his or her car in their favorite uh, athletic team. And on the other end of the spectrum, you got, well, uh, weebs and everything in between. Again, it's a massive spectrum. Hats off to you guys for having quite literally a one-of-a-kind wrap. Wherever you are on that spectrum, you're one dedicated individual and I can at least respect that. And lastly, we have Nardo Gray. There's nothing to say here, you're just... yeah. Alrighty, thank you guys so much for watching. I had fun making this video. Let me know in the comment section below what other car wraps that I might have missed and what do you think of the people when you see them with this particular car wrap? Also, be on the lookout in a few days when my brother releases his new car wrap on his Weeb Vet. Until then, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.